Hello all you beautiful souls. Hola a todos, vocas lindas amas. Welcome back to Push Us for PTSD in day 1245. First off, just a little bit about my day. As you can see in the opening few seconds, it's a lot of heavy snow and ice mix that I'm shoveling today. I seem to have about twice as much in my driveway and three times as much at the end from the plow to deal with. So on my left shoulder, the surgically reconstructed one is a tad bit sore, but I'll be fine. Now on to part two regarding kindness. Did you know kindness can decrease pain? Engaging in acts of kindness produces endorphins, the brain's natural painkiller. Stress. Perpetually kind people have 23% less cortisol, the stress hormone, and age slower than the average population. Kindness can also decrease anxiety. A group of highly anxious individuals performed at least six acts of kindness a week. After one month, there was a significant increase in positive moods, relationship satisfaction, and a decrease in social avoidance in socially anxious individuals. And that was from a University of British Columbia study. Depression can also be decreased through kindness. Stefan Post of Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine found that when we give of ourselves, everything from life satisfaction to self-realization and physical health is significantly improved. Morality is delayed, depression is reduced, and well-being and good fortune are increased. Acts of kindness can also reduce blood pressure. Committing acts of kindness lowers blood pressure, according to Dr. David R. Hamilton. Acts of kindness create emotional warmth which releases a hormone known as oxytocin. Oxytocin causes the release of a chemical called nitric oxide, which dilates the blood vessels. This reduces blood pressure and, therefore, oxytocin is also known as a cardioprotective hormone. It protects the heart by lowering blood pressure. The information from both part one and part two of my kindness videos was taken from dartmouth.edu. All credibility goes to them. I hope you're doing well, and I thank you for your time. Take care, and thank you for surviving.